let's focus on what it means to have an anointed life. Key ingredients for living an anointed life are found in the Word of God. In fact, in Exodus chapter 30, we find a recipe given by God to Moses, detailing the holy anointed oil. This passage not only outlined the specific ingredient, but also symbolized the key component necessary for living an anointed and concentrated life. Let us unpack the divine formula for spiritual enrichment and empowerment. Maintaining a well-functioned car requires to regularly check the oil and top it up. Well, likewise, our spiritual life needs continual checkup, and in the Bible, we find that the Holy Spirit is often characterized by oil. King, priest, and prophet were anointed for their God given assignment, and we too need ongoing spiritual anointing, as emphasized by Paul in Ephesians chapter 5. The only anointing oil in the Old Testament consists of five key ingredients, each symbolizing aspect of God's power, protection, and favor. Understanding this can help us to live an anointed life. Therefore, let's explore the first two ingredients. Mer speaks of meekness. This first ingredient is bitter to the test, but sweet to the smell, similarly dying to self to become a pleasant aroma unto our God. It's also known as its healing attribute. Myrrh reflect the spiritual principle of surrounding our life to God. True spiritual life begin by dying to self, as we are reminded in John chapter 12 and verse 24, and here is what he says, unless a grain of wheat fall to the ground and die, he remain alone. This means living a life of total surrender, focusing not on ourselves but on our Lord Jesus Christ. Cinnamon speaks of uprightness. This second ingredient, which gives a sweet smelling spine, comes from a tall, straight tree representing uprightness. In a world where integrity is often compromised, we are called to stand firm on God's truth. In fact, Jesus, who represents truth, is our example. Psalm 140 and verse 13 remind us this word. Surely the righteous will give thanks to your name. The upright will dwell in your presence. Because of God's grace, we can today live uprightly, standing tall in honesty and integrity. So let's commit to surrounding to God's will and upholding His truth reminding that his anointing empowers us to fulfill our purpose through our God-given assignment. God bless you.